This Corey Ten Boom and her family risked everything to hide Jewish refugees from the Nazis in World War II. Their heroic story is told in her 1971 autobiography, The Hiding Place. Well, this week, that story is coming to the big screen. Ephraim Graham caught up with the cast and creators for a preview. Oh, my dear Cornelia Arnolda Johanna Ten Boom. My little Corey. <laughs> when the time comes for courage, your father will give you everything you need. Courage, it's the best word to describe the story of Corey Tim Boom and her humble Dutch family of Christian watchmakers who hid hundreds of Jewish neighbors during World War II risking everything and enduring unspeakable evil. I have some news. Ah. Out with it then? Isn't it coy about <laughs> it? <laughs> this story made for the stage now moves to the big screen. I'm Nan Gurley and I play Corey Ten Boom. My name is Matt Logan and I am the director and designer of the stage play. My name is Pete Peterson. I am the writer of the stage play and the producer of the film, The Hiding Place. Yeah. I'm leaving my position at the church. What? But how can you, Willem? I think ministry is not my calling after all. But what will you do? I've opened a home for the elderly. Ah, the elderly. Peterson's play is based on Corey Tim Boone's book of the same name. What's the process of turning the hiding place into a stage play? That is a great question. I went into it with a lot of fear and trembling. So my wife and I jumped in a plane and started in Amsterdam visited the hiding place in Harlem, uh, where Corey lived. And then we drove across Germany to visit Ravensbrück concentration camp, where Corey and Betsy ended up. And uh, until you've been in a concentration camp, you can't really fathom how big the evil that happened was. To walk into the gas chamber and then to literally stand in front of the oven where Betsy Ten Boom was disposed of. You know, that's a, a process of research that really fundamentally changed my relationship to the story. And the one thing that was really clear to me is that it's really easy to think that The Hiding Place is about Corey Ten Boom, and it is, obviously. But Betsy Ten Boom is the real hero of this story in a lot of ways. Like, Corey's um, intent with telling the story in some ways was to honor the beautiful person that her sister was. And so I really wanted to uh, be committed to making sure that we told that story as well. Think she gets overlooked in history? I think she does, yeah. Lots of people know the name Corey Ten Boom, mm -hmm. but the name Betsy Ten Boom is not talked about as much. And Betsy is just one of the most remarkable people that I've ever encountered. Her ability to be uh, grateful in the midst of the worst circumstances is something that I struggle to do even when I'm just having a bad Monday. <laughs> Kept no juice, we conducted no raids. Perhaps it would help if you considered me a priest. Why do you think it's important for this to go from stage now to screen? Because it will reach so many more people. We'll get to know this story. The current generation doesn't know a lot about Corey. And it's so important for this story to be retold and retold, not only from the standpoint that if you don't know history, you're doomed to repeat it, mm -hmm. but also we need to be encouraged. We need to know the names of the people in that cloud of witnesses. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, Nashville, Tennessee. The Hiding Place movie will be in theaters this Thursday and Saturday. To find out where you can see it, go to CBNNews.com. And I would encourage you to really learn about Corey Ten Boom and learn about Betsy Ten Boom and how they were so courageous and how they stood up against evil. And Betsy did that and gave her life. Uh, Corey went through unbelievable horrors in a, in a concentration camp. And, and these are, are things that will encourage us as we go through difficulties in life, and that's promised to us in the Bible. In this world, you will have trouble, but be of good courage, for I have overcome the world. When you read the testimonies of people who truly overcame the world, and, and not just overcame it in a little way, but triumphed over it, it will give you the courage you need to face life.